Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Aries. And this is just going to be a little message for whenever it reaches you. So, I will be using my guardian angel messages, Carol. And then I'm going to pull you a card. Um, healing mantras inspired by the magic of the moon, living by the moon. Simple little sayings. One card. So Aries, let's see what messages or message we have for you. So Aries, this is for you. I was going to put the card down. <laughs> the lovers. <laughs> Relationships, emotions, ten of water, happy family, love. The nine of earths. Pretty organized and responsible, very supportive kind of energy here. Or at least that's what you're looking for. It's slow and steady. Slow and steady. The star, beautiful card. Not too long ago, you had a lot of faith and hope and fulfillment. And the ace of air. You got clarity about something. There was some clarity or some kind of communication. You had to make some adjustments. And you got the ace of water here. The ace of water is about love. Straight up love. Emotions, love. Just love. A lot of love. The ace of earth. New financial opportunity or new career move. Promotion. That job you've been waiting for, you're going to get it. The Ace of Earth, it's coming. It's a little slow in coming, but it's coming, all right? I don't want you to give up. Don't you give up. You got the Ten of Air. There's something that's going to end, but this is a temporary ending, okay? Um, it's a breakup, a relationship. The happy family, maybe that's what... But it's just temporary. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be no long lasting end of divorce. Nothing like. That. At least I don't think so. This is a temporary breakup. Maybe you're gonna take a break for a little while. The six of fire, success. So you see, it's not gonna be long. It's not gonna last long. It, but you will recover, recuperate, and then you got the king of earth. And with this energy, this energy here that there's going to be a temporary breakup with is an earth energy. This is a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn energy. This energy is extremely pros prosperous and generous and successful. You got the king of earth here. Stable energy. There's a new beginning here. I got the dreamer, the balance card, which is about balance and moderation in your environment. And I got the five of air. The five of air. This is about a lot of arguing. Just arguing. A lot of drama. We got a, I don't know, somebody got a compromise. There, there's a possibility of a new beginning here. Definitely. There's a new beginning. Or maybe there's a new beginning for this Virgo in your life. I don't know. <laughs> for this earth energy, this Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn in your life. Maybe it's a Virgo. Um, but there's a new beginning. You're going to have to get some kind of, um, find a balance in your life. Something is a little off here and there's a lot of conflict. Maybe that's what it, what's going on. Conflict. Maybe you had hopes of a new beginning or a new start because it was just a temporary breakup, but there's conflicts going on. You got the dreamer balance and the five of air. 
Oops. Now we got the sun. We got the awakening card and we got the hermit. You're at a pause. You're trying to make a decision. You're trying to figure out um, what's going to make you the happiest. What's going to make you happy. You're starting to live your life. You got the sun. You got the awakening card here. There's a pause in your environment. Something is pausing. Something is at a standstill right now for you. Could be because you're going within. You're discovering yourself. Maybe you're looking within you for the answer to something. For the answer. Maybe you, you're seeking your advice. Which is good. I'll get away. Um, which is good. Because that way you're relying on you. And nobody else. You know. And you're doing some meditation. You're meditating on the um, situation. Five of air and the sun. I think it's, I think happiness. I think you will accomplish and you will achieve the balance you're looking for. We'll keep going. We got the sun. We got the awakening card and we got the hermit. You got the strength card. You got the high priestess. You got the six of earth. So Aries, you got a lot of courage, a lot of inner strength. I don't know what's going on exactly, but you need to start using your intuition, all right? You do have wisdom. You may have patience because you're going to need it. You got the six of earth which is about balance, it's coming, it's, it's coming, all right? Just don't lose focus. Continue working on yourself, continue working on the relationship if this is something, like I said, it's a temporary breakup, but there's no need for arguing. And if children are involved and stuff like that, don't argue in front of children, okay? Um, it really does a number on them, okay? So let's see. But things are coming. I mean, you got the strength card, you got the high priestess, and you got the six of earth. You're going to find the balance. You got to start using your intuition. And you got a lot of inner strength. Start trusting yourself. Don't trust nobody else. Start trusting you. You, you can analyze things. My future is full of light. And it is. Okay. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. There's balance coming. It's slow. It's, it's, it seems like it's a little slow. Use your intuition. You got a lot of beautiful cards that came in here. You need to go within and you need to find the answers about you. <laughs> You need to figure out this temporary breakup. You need to figure out what you're going to do. Um, you know, both of you. You alone can't figure it out. It takes two. All right? I love you guys. You take care of yourselves, and we will chat soon. Bye.